This is an actually urgent video because what the market's showing right now could deliver the most outrageous, rapid, fast gains that we've seen in a long time. And if you pay attention to the examples and coins I'm gonna talk about in this video, you could probably easily clear a three, five, 10 X by the end of December or early January. If this comes into fruition, which I think it is, the pattern is, is, is looking to be shaping up. And like always guys, we're gonna start off with more conservative, safer picks and work our way down to the dank, nasty 2 a.m. red light district altcoins that are gonna deliver those 520X gains near the end of the video. So you can kind of pick your level of risk tolerance in these videos. But the downside to this is this pattern comes with a massive, massive downside that we have to talk about because this puts us in a position right now to make really rapid gains, but lose them very quickly as well if we don't understand what's happening. And as the leader of crypto, I have to talk about this downside as well because frankly, it's my fault because as you know, I am the most woke, empty house, business crypto fat advice guy with a great body who is also family friendly and extremely PG. And as you know, I am very humble. I don't like to talk about this, but it is very well known that I am the most famous, most influential, best looking person in crypto. Because as you know, I've delivered nothing but red hot juicy gains in this channel for months on end. Just the last few videos, Sandbox, Cryo Wars, Good Games Guild, Deedify, Chain Guardians, the list is stupid and endless, so I'm not gonna talk about it. Because you little f you f ruined all of this. See, when I go to Thanksgiving dinner, nobody talks to me about crypto because I have a secret identity. Why do you think I wear the sunglasses? My parents think I'm a zookeeper, but you little f you degenerate pieces of walked into Thanksgiving like your doesn't stink, didn't even give credit to the most woke and showed everybody your Coinbase account and your fat gains. And now everybody in your family thinks you're a genius. You've got Grana over here on TikTok investing in Shiba Inu. You have your uncle over here buying influencer NFTs. Your baby nephew has put in a suit like Boss Baby and now is investing in Treat, buying pictures of Filipino women and trading them. This is chaos and this is your fault. And what we're about to see in the market is a huge wave of grandmothers, babies, and drunk uncles and causing what I think is going to be a big old blow off top. So without further ado, let's get into the market. That also being said, guys, this channel has a few viewers. I'm not gonna talk about super small coins or things that are gonna pump too hard if I mention them. If you wanna see small projects and things I'm getting into way earlier, Follow me on Twitter at CSS Becker. It's mostly screaming and rants about, I don't know, whatever I'm mad about today, but there's occasionally a few good coin picks. So let's dive into the market. So let's talk about this market. As always, it's not financial advice. I am just a dude in front of his computer wearing sunglasses, screaming profanity in a dark room. Good choice. Anyways, so looking at the market right now, I can't say what it's about to do, but it's looking like it's about to do what it's always done. And if it does do this, we are in a position to make a lot of money very, very quickly and lose a lot of money very, very quickly. Okay? So there's two things that are shaping up here. So I'm gonna steal this chart from a buddy of mine, Chris, on Facebook. He's called what's happened in this market many times. And I'm not saying, hey, everybody go follow Chris. He just explained it perfectly well with this picture. And it's so much easier for me to just, just, just take Chris's picture, okay? Because we all know I'm a lazy sack of shit. You can tell by the presentation value of these videos. So let's just, let's just move on. So look, what we see in almost every single market cycle is there's this, there's the rise up, there's all the stuff we've seen so far, and then there's this big, and what's building up right now looks eerily similar to every single thing that we've seen in the market so far. We see, we've always seen it reverse in July, and then it comes up to the end of the year, and then just takes off. I think with all the inflation fears, with everybody just getting done taking profits in November, with everybody now about to jump into the marketplace, I think we're about to see that blow off top. And I'm really, really, really looking for it. We might not, but we wanna be prepared for it because this is when all the altcoins, all the things in the marketplace are gonna go insane. And so what we're either saying right now is either a really good or a bad thing. So we're seeing Bitcoin kind of stabilize and we're seeing Ethereum really start to charge. And if you don't know how things usually work in the marketplace, when we're seeing the blow off top, what happens is Bitcoin goes up, then comes down, there's a moment of lull, and then Ethereum takes off. And we're kind of seeing that right now. It's too early to tell, but either what we're going to see in two situations is Bitcoin kind of dabble around and just make that big charge to 100K, which I think it's gonna stop at like 75, 80K, if I'm just being honest. And then we're gonna see everything else rocket to chase it, or we could just be seeing Ethereum taking off right now, Bitcoin dying off, and then that's it. 
We could also just see this market keep going on forever. And so I know what everybody's thinking. Oh, Alex, you're saying it could go up or down. Yes, I'm looking at the probabilities right here and trying to set myself up to take advantage of this because how the market's going to work if either of these two outcomes happen, okay? It's like we have a, a we have a roulette table and there's there's two odds of these things happening right here. And if either of these happen right here, altcoins are eventually going to go insane and they're going to 5X, 10X, whatever. And the reason why I'm saying this could be a blow off top is the valuations on altcoins, in my opinion, are already excessively much too high. The valuations on a lot of projects are just way too damn high. And if we look at these valuations right now, they're already unacceptable, but the market's completely left reality. I've seen so many things in this marketplace, and I know it's not, I'm not always real on this channel, like oh, I can get in my complain ranty mode, but I've just seen so much happening in the market on Twitter and whatnot that it's just the amount of money people are throwing at literally anything, it's, it's not sustainable in any way. And so that's what makes me think we're about to see the blow off top, because I think we're about to see grandmothers, dogs, Teletubbies, all throwing their life savings into this marketplace right now and just massive FOMO hit into it. It's just the perfect storm with the news, the media, the new virus news. It's it's just set up for this. And so how do we take advantage of this? How can we take advantage of this? Well, there's one thing you need to do most of all. You can almost invest in anything right now. And so there's a really good strategy that I've actually created just called Don't Invest in Cardano. Now, look, I know we're looking at Cardano now with a very respectable 0.47% pump making the one investor in Carno that's actually left, Vernon Dursley, it's 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 making us, it's giving us a smug Dursley right now. And if this can turn to a mean 3 4%, we might actually start seeing up only Dursley. And if we can get to about 6 7%, we could see face-melting gains, Dursley. And if that happens, you want to get out of the UK because that guy will start grabbing children and locking them under a staircase and calling them wizards. It gets really crazy. He goes on a, on a spree. And... I know this investing strategy might be scary to you because if you've been, especially in the UK, Dursley has been trying to stop everybody from dumping Cardano, but they just keep dumping. They just keep dumping. It's been the one coin that's made absolutely no money the past few months. I don't know how they've done it. And then we really have to salute Verdon for having such diamond hands from 280 when he bought in. That being said, guys, we need to look at the overall market and, and, and come up with a few sound investing strategies. And the one thing you can do is buy literally anything on the market except Cardano and you'll probably be okay. All right, so that's investing advice number one, which is also not financial advice. I get all my calls from my dog, Scoot. He's a clever little guy. That being said, starting at more conservative picks, all right. What you need to understand about this market, in my opinion, is anything in the top 50 is going to go up. And as you go down the top 50, the gains increase. And so if I'm being conservative, I'm going to pick ABAX right here. I think Solana, I think Ethereum is going to go up. I think, I, I, if, look guys, even jokes aside, I think Cardano might actually pull a run right here as well. I think it's all going to go up. Okay. But in my opinion, I think AVAX is going to go park itself right underneath Solana. All right. So we could probably get like a 3X on this thing if Solana keeps pumping as well pretty damn easily. All right. So AVAX is my conservative bet right here. Though we could also see the same thing on Solana. I would just buy AVAX and Solana if I want to be a boring investor right now. Again, I've talked about Polygon in other videos, but we really can see, and the thing I want to stress is we really could see some crazy gains from just anything on here. And so I'm not saying these other coins that are in the top 50 are not going to do something cool. I'm just saying, look, we're probably going to see similar gains from across all these things right here. You're going to have to try very hard to pick something that's not going to go up, which is great for us influencers. Cause then I can just screenshot this and be like, hold it. It's like, it's like a guy predicting that you're going to see boobs at a strip club. It's, it's pretty easy to do. It's, it's, it's pretty easy to be the Nostradamus in that type of situation. Anyways, good for me because people think I'm much smarter than I actually am. But where are we gonna see the funny, funny money gains at? There's of course Moon River and Remark, and the one thing I would be looking at right now is I'm really looking at Remark super hard. And I talked about it last video, it did, it's done really good gains since we actually started talking about, started talking about it back here, and it's just, it's just gone silly. And the word of this cycle, the, the coin for lack of better words, is Metaverse. Look guys, I am the biggest crypto gaming enthusiast ever. I want to work in it for the next 10 years. I'm building a game studio. Guys, the valuations on games, they're getting a little out of control. You could just slap Metaverse on anything. I, I could put Metaverse on an Arby's melt and call it the Meta Arby's melt and make like a 2,000% gain on it right away. It's not going to last forever, okay? And that's fine because we're not here to invest in things forever. 
We're here to come in and make profits very quickly. Remark is a fantastic project that has a lot of Metaverse stuff coming up. It's got a big old good team. It's on Polkadot and the fully diluted market cap is just right on up with the market cap right here. I think it's in a super strong position to go and give some extremely solid gains and make a good old charge to a billion, maybe 1.5 before the cycle's over. Another coin, odd one. I don't hold any of this one, okay? I don't hold any of this one, but Voyager token is extremely accessible to new people, okay? I really, really think we could see Voyager do one of these things right here, okay? I really think we could see it spike up super hard because Voyager is so easily accessible to new people to log into on their phones. I don't hold any Voyager right now because, again, you guys know I like the dirty gains, okay? I think this is a good 3, 5x from here, at least $10, $12, $15, something like that, as this market starts to hit. The marketing, the team behind Voyager... It, it just looks good and it's super accessible to new people. And that's one thing I'm really looking at. So I'm looking at Voyager as well right here. And another coin I think has a really strong narrative going into this is going to be Phantom, okay? Because it's a pretty small layer one-ish. And I think, again, with this massive FOMO we're gonna see, anything that has a narrative that it can pump super hard, this is just low enough to make a really solid charge to $10 and like a crazy parabolic rise. And another pick I'm picking out of the top 100 that is just looking really good. I'm not the biggest investor in it, but I think Luna is about to do something really silly as well. I think it's gonna make, we're gonna see a few coins make these BNB like charges, all right? They just charge into the top 10 and just won't stop, okay? When BNB did this, it just kept going. I really, really think Luna is gonna pull this off right here. It's, it just has all the signs and I think it's gonna do exactly what it did again right here. Okay, so we're already starting to see this happen right now. So it might actually be starting a little late. Okay, but I think we might actually see this thing make a really big charge as well. So those are kind of my middle ground, top tier, more conservative picks. If we don't see a blow off top here, we might lose a little bit of money on these things. If we do see a blow off top, you need to understand, you need to start dollar cost averaging out of this. Okay, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. That's what everybody else is going to be doing. So be careful. Now, where do I like to play in? There's absolutely nothing that's delivered better gains than gaming. That being said, let's talk about what's going to happen. So what's happening in gaming right now is really interesting because to me, I think these valuations are inappropriate. I am the biggest fan of crypto gaming. I think it's going to a trillion dollar market cap total right now. Things are going, things are getting assigned 150, 200 million dollar valuations. Just, just as a given. It's, this is a good and a bad thing for us. This means we can make a lot of money very, very quickly in this gaming market right here. It also means it's dangerous as hell, okay? Because a lot of these games are not out. A lot of these games are not being produced yet. There's gonna be a period where we have to wait for these games to get developed and launched in the marketplace. And there is going to be a hard bear market. And if we do see a blow off top, it, the bear market's probably gonna get triggered. Okay, there has to be some type of correction coming on this. I don't think it's coming yet. I think we're gonna go even deeper into insanity right here because everybody's looking at Axie Infinity and the Central Land and Sandbox right here. Okay? Are these valuations appropriate? I don't know. I, I just don't feel like they are. That being said, that doesn't matter. We're not dealing with reality here. We're not dealing with like <laughs> common sense. We're dealing with people trying to get rich really quickly. And you always need to factor in with this, you need to go look at good old Shiba Inu right here. It doesn't do anything. All right, it has a $26 billion market cap. So if you think coins do do something, can't do the same exact thing, especially when hype and craze is involved, think again, because all people are gonna see is charts going up. And I think we could start seeing charts going up. So what am I doing? Look, every time I say sandbox can't go any higher, it goes higher. So I'm just not gonna say that. What I'm gonna say is that we have all these other coins down here. And what everybody's doing looking at these coins right here, and these $100 million market caps, which is like low now for these things, is they're seeing these coins up here and saying, what's gonna be the next one of these? And you have to look, all these coins right here have good, juicy 20, 30 Xs to get to these, these market caps right here. And you, we have to look at these coins right here. These aren't Bitcoins or Ethereums, okay? The Central Land, cool. Axie, cool. But all these are, are Sandbox just launching its alpha right now. There, there isn't really that much magic separating these games from these games down here. Am I saying these games up here are bad? No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying like the, the, these people haven't created World of Warcraft 2.0 yet, okay? So anything down here could do this. So looking at this, I have a very basic strategy for this. It comes in three parts. Number one, invest in guilds and conglomerates of games, which is gonna be studios with games underneath them. 
And what I really suggest you do in this video, guys, is you use these strategies because these are the strategies I use every single day. Okay, and so what I would be looking for at this point in time is I want to look for like the studio. So for example, Pyre is a studio. It has its own decks. It has tons of stuff underneath it. Okay, why is this important? Because we can look at something like Gala Games up here. Okay, we can look at things like Yield Game Guild and we can say, okay, these studios right here, the narrative behind them could really push them higher. Now, of course, of course, Vulcan Forge is doing some really cool things. I always call it Pyre because I'm an idiot. But it's a perfect example of what could easily just go and hit to a $3 billion, $2 billion market cap very quickly. Okay, it could, it could pull the same exact thing Gala Games is doing. So that's what I'm looking for too. So what I'm going to also look for is I'm going to look for things that are much lower. That's why I suggested Good Game Guild a few videos ago. That's why I looked into and started investing in Unix. I'm looking for new projects that are also launching with 50 to 100, maybe even $20 million market caps that fit that narrative. Those are very strong. The next thing I'm going to look at is games that have active users, okay, that are that are currently undervalued. So let's look at a few games right here that are doing that. Gods Unchained has players. It's only 138 million. Only. <laughs> but in context, that's pretty damn low. We have to look at Theta or Theta and Arena. I don't own any of that, but same exact narrative. Has a lot of players hopping on it right now. We look at Minds of Delarnia. I want to look at games that have lots of players popping on them right now. Because those games could quickly, under some narrative, get to one-sixth, one-tenth the market cap of Sandbox or any of these games right here and make a good solid run in this. And where is everybody going to be investing in this bull run when the blow-off top is happening? They're going to be charging right into the metaverse. The narrative is just too damn strong. So that's the next thing I'm going to be looking at. Finally, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing seed investing or catching projects super duper earlier after they IDO. So for example, let me show you this. There's too many games launching on the market right now. This is good because it, it, the tension is too split. People don't know what they're doing. And frankly, if unless an influencer is focused on the game, the game goes under the radar at first. So we see like Cryo War right here. It didn't go under the radar at all, okay? But as far as games right now are, it totally went under the radar. So Cryo War launched, and I talked about that on Twitter, and it just had tons of time right here to come in and make a nice juicy gain like this in just a couple weeks, just a couple weeks. Definia, for example, another one of my favorites, and we talked about it right, right here. Same exact thing. Okay? And so what I'm going to do, and what I'm very, very actively doing, and probably my main strategy, is finding games when they're first launched, and if they don't have the giant pump. Okay. So for example, when games are launching, we go look at like Star Atlas right here. I'm not poo-pooing on Star Atlas. Everybody always thinks I am. No, I'm just poo-pooing on this, this big giant thing right here. We don't want that. If we see this right after IDO, no. I want to see this kind of stuff right here. If we got him right here, ooh, juicy, juicy, fun. So I'm watching new games doing this because what's happening and the pattern is going to happen is when we're either going to see games go under the radar, we can get invested in it then, or we're going to see the hype train moving so quickly that we're going to see stuff that happens right here with Star Atlas. Things are going to pump super hard and the people are going to go and chase something else and then the game will actually make its true gains. Okay, so we, can, we need to watch for people FOMOing out and into other things and take advantage of that or watch for new projects launching. I posted a big long list of new projects that I'm investing in and watching like a hawk on Twitter. You should follow me there at CSS Becker. Now, to wrap up this video, guys, what is, what is going to happen right here? Okay, one, we could see a whole lot of nothing. We could see a whole lot of nothing. I have to stress that. We could see a whole lot of nothing. But we have to look at the patterns in the past and what investing in crypto actually is, is trying to make good educated bets and not lose big, but be right big. Right now, we have the chance to be right big by a lot. We could see a lot of nothing or we could go lower and be wrong 10, 15%. We could also get in right here and be right 200, 300%. That's the odds we're looking at right here. Okay, so if it's a 50-50 bet, factor it in this way. If it's a 50-50 bet, this is going to happen right here. Okay, we lose 15% if we lose, we make 300% if we win. That's how I invest and that's how I look at things. Okay, so yes, I'm totally saying it could go either way. We might see a whole lot of nothing. However, I'm saying the odds right here and the narrative and all the retail investors and all the news that's happened with you know what, I see with inflational stuff, I see a very strong chance for an extreme, extreme freak out, FOMO, everybody rushes in. And when we get to this point right here, guys, when we start seeing this big juicy thing happening, you need to be dollar cost averaging out. You need to be dollar cost averaging out. Whenever there's big market pumps, not pumps on individual coins, big market pumps, I'm gonna be exiting, okay? 
And I'm not going to be there to be able to hold your hand and call you, call it for you on Twitter or whatnot. It would just be too late, right? You need to be strategically taking profits all the way up and all the way down. That's how you can do it. That's how you're going to get out alive. So that being said, guys, a little bit of a, uh, a dark ending to the video. But that's what I see happening in the market right now. That's exactly what I'm doing. I don't have anything else to add. If you want to see stuff I'm talking about way earlier, because I can't always talk about these videos, follow me on Twitter at CSS Becker. On top of that, Upload Day is coming to Neo Tokyo. I know most people can't get into it, but you should you should check that out on Twitter too. It's gonna be ooh, ooh, ooh.